Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Station Years. In today's episode I would like to figure out how to build and fly a mothership. Now unfortunately this is not quite possible in survival mode, at least not on the moon just yet. Except you cheat in the mothership core block. So in today's episode I thought we'd figure out how we would even have to build that and fly it. And in the next episode, with your permission of course, I'm going to cheat in the mothership core block. And then we can start building that in survival mode, which uh, should be a lot more interesting than just uh, cheating in the items. However, before we do that, I'm going to meet you in my survival world just for a little bit in order to create the Ingvar. We failed, unfortunately, the last time producing some Ingvar, so I kind of want to rectify that mistake and let you know what solution I came up with. Alright, so here we are in the survival world. What I'm going to do is, just as usual, we're gonna put in the iron right there, and we're also gonna put in the nickel. You need a 1 to 1 ratio in order to create the Ingvar. After that, I already prepared 10 Oxide and 20 Volatiles. Now, this is gonna go crazy for our first experiment here. I just want to show you the effects. So there we go, I put everything in there. We're going to activate the furnace and you can see the pressure is extremely high. Way higher than we need it. We only need between 6 and 7 thousand. However, if I leave this running for a little bit, things are actually gonna spiral out of control. You can already see it starts glowing quite heavily and even if I decrease the pressure just a little bit we will be seeing some effects. Yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go, everything exploded. So we need to be careful with that. So what I'm gonna do in order to make this work, we are going to take apart a couple of panels here so we are more in the vacuum. I'm gonna plot those here, we're also gonna take apart these two windows and that should theoretically be enough. So let's see this happen one more time. I'm gonna smelt up the iron, then the nickel, after that we're gonna smelt up uh, 10 oxide and 20 volatiles, just like that. And now we want to activate the furnace, uh, the pressure is going up way, way more than we needed. But I'm gonna open up the valve and we can see the pressure is now going down. I'm gonna let it drop until about 10 or so, so this should be enough. And now you can see the pressure is going down even further and the temperature is actually also going down. What I'm waiting for is for it to drop below 7000. So I'm just going to open it for a second or so. You can see we are at 7000 and as soon as it drops below we can make the Ingvar. So let's open this bad boy and there we go. Finally! So the next time we should be able to actually build nuclear batteries, at least a couple of them, right? Also nothing exploded, I'm really glad about that. Alright, beautiful. Let's put the Ingvar right here as well. And I'm gonna save and meet you back in the test world in order to build a mothership. And here we go, here we are. So first things first, we are going to need a mothership core. So let's open up the cheat menu and I'm gonna type in core. So we have a mothership core, F9, in order to spawn one of these guys. Now, we need to be careful not to actually bump it because it is currently floating in space. Next up, I'm going to need a couple of frames. I'm gonna go with iron frames, so I can clearly distinguish them from the actual core block. And we're just gonna put a couple of these guys all the way around. Let me get a locker going, I need one of you. Actually, before we do that, let's spawn in a couple of iron sheets here, so that we can weld this up. There you go, that's the spirit. Now let me see, I would like to have my storage maybe right here, this is gonna be useful. And the rest of the lockers we can just throw out into space. Let's also finish the core using the steel sheets here. The first thing we probably need is a stellar anchor, something along these lines. Now this guy requires power and what it does is it's gonna keep the ship stationary whenever you want to build something. And of course, seeing that we need some power, we're also gonna need some sort of a generator. So maybe let's go with one of these solid generators so we can fuel everything up using coal. I'm gonna put that right here in the center. Of course we're also gonna need a whole bunch of cables in order to hook this up. Let me quickly arrange that. Et voila! As you can see I hooked them up in some way or the other. Another thing we're gonna need is a way to store the power obviously. Let's actually go with a battery kit, why the heck not? We can fill this up I'm pretty sure. At least in creative mode that shouldn't be an issue. Alright, there we go. The coal generator is hooked up to the battery, which is then again supplying the entire circuit with the necessary power. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Let's spawn in a couple of coal ore. I'm gonna put them right here and if we enable this, then theoretically we should be getting some charge. 
This also means we should be able to enable this guy and therefore the anchor is on and we can easily build on the ship without it actually drifting away. Uh, maybe we can actually show this off. I'm gonna shut it off again and then we're just gonna push against it a little bit. And now you can see it is moving in relation to this asteroid. And then as soon as I enable this guy, it should hold in place again. Yeah, there we go. Now it's stationary. Oh, I already busted the cables. Actually, maybe we don't build with these cables at all. We're just gonna spawn in the heavy cables instead. Okay, cool. We're gonna need a whole bunch more things to make this work. I'm gonna make a little cockpit area. So let's say maybe right here is where the pilot is going to be. And so we're going to construct these. On top of it, I would like a furniture kit. Item kit furniture. Let's spawn one of those. And we want to swap it in order to get a control chair, probably. Yeah, build a control chair. And we're gonna build that right here. You can already see this one needs to be hooked up as well. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. All right, nice. The battery is actually already charged up. And if we get into this control chair, uh, how do I do that? Ah, just the mouse click. We can actually see what's wrong with everything. Well then, let's take care of the thrust next. We're probably gonna need thrusters or maybe they're called engines, actually. We have medium, small and large ones. Let's see what the small ones are doing for us. Right there, how does that look? That doesn't look too shabby. I mean, if we have a couple of these, we should be able to move the ship, right? Engines are gonna need two things. They're gonna need some gas, a fuel mixture and maybe even power, I'm not sure. Ah, they need a data connection, of course. That makes a lot of sense. Now, to make things a little bit easier on me, I'm gonna have the thrusters right here, so I have easy access to all of that shebang. Look at that! We can even turn it on and off manually, and right there is the input, the fuel input. Let's add two tiny thrusters in the back in order to get forwards thrust. We of course need the thrust in all directions. I'm gonna add just one thruster right there in order to break and move backwards. Then of course we're gonna need a thruster that is pointing downwards and a thruster that is pointing upwards. So we can move up and down. I'm gonna put this guy right there. That seems to be reasonable, mirrored. And last but not least we need a couple of thrusters pointing sideways naturally. So let's add this one right there and another one like so. Beautiful. First things first, let me hook all of these guys up with some cabling. We're gonna throw away the rest. Okay, something weird I noticed is that I don't seem to be able to hook these up correctly. You can see there is a green cross on the side where the thruster is. What about those guys? Uh, they are also flashing an error. Okay, so maybe the error is that the pipes aren't hooked up. So maybe that's one thing we can take care of. I just want to expose all of the thrusters so we can make a piping network. Before we do that, maybe let's decide where we want to put the tank. It's gonna be an item kit tank, one of the big ones. And let's see, we probably want this guy right here. Let's actually build it on the other side so the connections are a little bit more convenient. Right there, that should be good. And we want to fill up this tank with a specific mixture, which is 25% oxygen and 75% volatiles. However, before I do that, I just want to hook up this guy. We can do it very sneakily and easy. So I'm just assuming on the moon I would actually produce the fuel on the ground and then kind of bring it here with a portable tank. So what we're gonna need is a tank connector. We're gonna need a whole bunch of pipes. How many do we spawn like that? Let me see, 20 pipes. Yeah, of course, one entire stack. Let's spawn in a whole bunch more. We're gonna need plenty of these. Cool, I guess it's time to set up the tank connector. All we need is a pipe. So I'm gonna face it this way, that should be good. Usually there's no tank on top of it, so it's not really gonna be in the way of the locker. But let's just assume we filled up one of our canisters with the right fuel mixture right there. And we can see it is 75% H2 and 25% O2. So we are gonna grab this tank, place it approximately here. Hopefully that is gonna turn out well. You go right there there and then we hook it up oh yes it was possible great okay the next thing i want to install is a volume pump this is going to make sure that we can pump the entirety of the gases we have here directly into our gas tank so i'm gonna place that maybe here should be good so all we need to do now is hook this up and right here of course we probably want to split so let's maybe do a t junction for the time being if we now hook this up with the power we need, we should be able to enable this right there. And then, ah, we have a volume here, of course. But stuff should be pumped over. Are we losing pressure here? What is going on? Yeah, it is slowly but surely going down in this guy. And then, what is happening with you? 
Yeah, we don't really have a display on here, but we can see this one is filling up. It's doing it very slowly though. Well, it's fine if it takes a while, so long as it actually empties this fuel tank. Good. Next up, we need to hook up all of our engines, so let's try to do that. This one is also not considered hooked up. Maybe that is just a graphical error with the green crosses. Anyways, I want another T-junction right here, so we can also hook this up to our other engine, which is on the other side. And of course, we need a little bit more space here. Let me actually see if the back part is not going to be a problem if I do it like that. I can just go through here. That should be good. Yeah, I don't see how things can go wrong. We probably need the T-junction right there. Then one more straight pipe to hook this one up, and this should not be flashing an error now. Great. Oh, 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 okay, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, right, that happened. Yeah, guys, I think I actually broke the game. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Let me just keep building a little bit and we shall see what happens. All right, there we go. Look at that. We have everything hooked up. We still have flashing errors and that is kind of irritating at the moment. Also, we don't seem to be able to turn these guys on even though it is hooked up. Moment of truth, this should be the connection, so maybe I have a suspicion, maybe we actually built on two different grids with these guys. I'm not 100% positive, is there actually a way for me to test this out? What if we disable this anchor, could we maybe add a little bit of thrust? Oh, this one is currently locked, that's interesting, let me have a look at my chair here. We have thrust, uh, can I do anything? Okay, so it looks as though we have up and down thrust. Ah, interesting. Look at that. I can use control in order to increase my vertical speed. And... Oh yes, look at that. We're actually moving downwards. Now I would like to decrease that again. Oh, that could be an issue. Let me actually get out of here and before everything goes wrong, we should enable our block here. Oh man, I should have easier access to this. Oh, oh, do, 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 do. Anchor, anchor, no, anchor, anchor. Ah, there we go. <laughs> okay, well, at least I know that this guy right here is working. Let me see. It doesn't blink. That's good. Upward thrust is not working. Well, maybe before we do anything else, let's actually add a gyroscope. That is definitely something we're gonna need. I mean, with the thrusters, you can only fly in all directions, but we of course also want the ability to turn around. We cannot have anything on top of here. This would actually have been the perfect spot, but maybe we can do it here. Why the heck not? Oh well, actually screw it. Design is only going to be important once we do this in our main world. We can actually also get rid of this portable tank, which we shall do. See ya! Et voila! Our gyroscope is working. That's brilliant. So gyro isn't flashing red anymore. So since we clearly have a problem with these guys, let me see if we can maybe replace them and that helps. Uh, actually, it looks like this is going to work. No, but it was flashing yellow. I don't understand. Let me maybe add an additional tank on top of here. I want to see this working now. Okay, we have the same pressure everywhere in the pipes. That cannot be the problem. Maybe let's analyze the network. For instance, right here, what is happening? Right, we have only one engine at the moment which is powered and on. No, two engines actually, and two of them flash an error for some reason. Let me take this one apart. Low pressure. Oxygen. Oh man, just shut up, I know. I know, stuff is not good. Okay, look at that. This looks like it's going to be hooked up correctly this time. <gasps> okay, we managed to set up the second engine. Now we can fly upwards. I'm gonna take you one more time and then we try to attach you. Yeah, it seems to be attaching to the pipe but not to the cable here. Man, this drives me insane. It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. You know, what confuses me is that I can place the engine right here, for instance, and if I bump it, it is actually considered a block that's stationary. Ah, okay, so look at this. Right here, it's not considered part of the mothership, but a few more blocks to the right. It says constructing on mothership. So that was not the problem either then. Oh my gosh, okay, I just uh, achieved something. This guy seems to be working now. For whatever freaking reason, it just doesn't make sense. Oh, okay. I just hooked it up with a different cable. Let me see what happens if I do this and make a straight one out of here. Then... Okay, that's still working. So it's just this guy that's not working at the moment. But that means, theoretically, we should be able to move into all directions, right? Because at least one thruster in each direction is working. Well, let me have a look on this chair once again. Uh, fuel. Why is the fuel in red? 
hold the phone. Let me quickly disable this anchor and then we are gonna go for a little test flight. Maybe I actually save the game first. Could be a good idea. All right, the game is saved. We're gonna shut off the anchor, hop in the chair right there. And I can use shift maybe to go up forward. Oh, I can go forward. Okay, that's good. That's working. Oh, back is actually not working yet. Of course, we haven't done back yet. But check this out. The ship is actually flying. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it to a halt again. Yeah, of course, the forward thruster we didn't hook up just yet. Maybe I'm actually going to place this guy somewhere else for convenience sake. But it's really good we actually tested this in a creative world because now I know much better how I would want to design something so it is symmetrical and awesome. Now to test this out whether or not this is still going to be part of the mothership I'm just going to build it in mid-air and then connect it with the cables. And there we go, cables are hooked up and of course it didn't work. Why would it, why would it? Okay, my suit is going crazy. The temperature is rising for some reason. Oh man, everything is spiraling out of control at the moment. Also, you, what is the problem with you? Maybe we actually have to regulate the pressure. What is it set to at the moment, the thrust? Like 100 kilopascals or so. Maybe we actually ought to have a pressure regulator so we can decide how much pressure we actually want in these pipes and therefore also in the thrusters. But uh, there is no good reason why these thrusters, for instance, would now flash an error because of too high temperature or pressure, while those guys right here are perfectly fine. We have the same pressure in both. Okay, well, I can see why they would not have included this experimental feature in the survival world. It could also be that I broke a couple of things in this safe game. I mean, my suit is going crazy at the moment. And also we did have a whole bunch of errors. But yeah, what do you think about the concept of a ship in general? I mean, I just love it. I love the idea. And maybe we can even take off the moon and land on a different moon. Maybe even go to Mars, etc, etc. Huh. Okay, so now they are not flashing an error anymore. Maybe I'm actually doing something really stupid. Let me also throw in a couple more coal ore. Yeah, now these guys are actually flashing the error. That is so interesting. Maybe you guys actually know what the heck is going on. Also, uh, let me see. Fuel is now green. That is great. But power is in the red. Thrust we can actually increase using the home and the end button. So at the moment we have exactly 100 kilopascals. If I manage to do it. No, I don't manage to do it. And our only engine that's not working at the moment is the backwards engine. I mean, that is not too shabby. Maybe we release the stellar anchor and go on a little trip. So forwards, please. Yes, and we can also move Low sideways. Pressure. Ah, look Oxygen. at that. Fuel Low. is going down quickly. Yes, but we're definitely moving. Now, I probably won't be able to brake, actually. Yeah, I'm not able to brake, so I don't go too quickly. <laughs> I wonder if there's also, like, destruction or so. How do I move up? Of course, spacebar. Why didn't I think of that before? Oh, this is amazing. I love it. Let's use this asteroid in order to stop, I guess. Uh-huh, we're still moving. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Okay. It did break, actually, but it did not break, if you know what I mean. Now, one more thing I wonder is how do we use the gyroscopes? Ah, we can actually use the mouse in order to look around. So we can uh, look to the right and to the left just using the mouse. It does take a while, though. I don't seem to be able to look up or down. I can just look to the left and right. So yeah, we definitely need to add a bunch of improvements. I suspect that we need to regulate what pressure we have in the pipe and also we need to kind of figure a way around with the errors that I had. But I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna have a bunch of tips for me as well so we can improve whatever I messed up on this design. And then maybe if you fancy we can build one of these guys in survival mode, of course, in survival mode we're also gonna take care of the design actually. This one here is just meant to be functional and so that we know what's going on. But yeah, with that out of the way, let me thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.